Masa untuk Mega Mato. Wow, this new season seems interesting. Hmm, hmm. Yes, yes. Can ah. you show the viewers your animation of me fighting a red cube? Let me talk about Mekamato first, buddy. Okay. You ah. animate my little pet cube fighting that robot? Uh, talk for a shot of there, buddy. And my name's the Malay boy. So, Mekamato, like I promised from the last video. Actually, I want to talk about something else. But hey, better talk about the latest stuff, you know? I need to boost that views. Mekamato is a Malaysian superheroes animated series published by Monster in 2021. Ah, the quarantine. What a memory. Before the series, there's supposed to be a movie, but it was delayed because of COVID. The story is about a boy named Amato and his spouse fears named Mechabot fighting evil robot. Mecha fan, you guys might like this series. Let's talk about the movie first. Mechamato movie! Released in 2022. My best high school year. This movie is a prequel to Mekamato the animated series. It's about how Amato and Mekabot meet. They still have to fight evil robots. Also, an alien is the main villain. Oh yeah, and their secondary hero, Masmana. This guy literally take over the Mekamato movie's marketing because of one line. Yes, one line. It is this scene. Bismillah. He's so cool when he do that. Oh yeah, this movie is rated P13. The first time I watched it, there are some violence in it. I thought that's the reason. Then I rewatched it. Oh boy, it's more than just a violence. Most like have something to do with death. Your family jewel just got destroyed. Political stuff also involved. Like this guy trying to cover up a robot attacks. At least something realistic happened instead of letting an 11 years old fighting aliens. The villain. Rakakus is so f cruel, man. Even his main weapon of this tentacle shape thingy. Okay, I glad Monster made this weapon can turn into a sight. It makes sense since sight is a symbol of death and he kills people, isn't that? Let's go to the series. Mekamato, the animated series, was released in 2021. I have a high expectation for Mekamato to have a story driven story. It's not, I was disappointed. There are villains of the week though. Sumora is literally my favorite character. In season 1 and season 2, he is literally the final boss. Season 2 have two part episode for the finale. Kinda nice. Well, season 3 tears are just released. Let's take a look. Yo, that robot from the movie is bad. Then this girl must mana. I can't tell the details since most of you guys aren't from Malaysia. Oh damn. Girl Masmara is confirmed Mara by Nizam Raza, the creator of this series. My most hated character, Deep. Fuck Deep. I hate the way he acts, bro overrate to every single thing, and it's annoying. They made the Indians a comedy character is fine, but why make them annoying? Gopal is less annoying for now, that's good. But Deep, he's so annoying. Monster can cause a racism. Oi. Oh, hi, what's up? I still want an explanation from you about the animation. Yeah. Oh, well, um, I can make an in blue do a finish on you. What? Is that an excuse? <laughs> ah! Lautan luas asal usulku. Malam gelap tiada teman. Dengan serangan jerungku. Rehala engkau dengan aman. <laughs> I wonder how many randoms die on my channel. What can I say about Mekamato is... I'm going to hit my 17 years old self for thinking that Mekamato movie isn't a P13 movie. Like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. See you guys next time.